Okay class, so we've been going over the writing process and work and using that to write our narrative essays. So before we get into our third and final step of the writing process, can one of you tell me what our first step of the writing process is? Ms. Beavers. Planning and pre-writing. Planning and pre-writing. So what are some techniques in planning or pre-writing that help us to figure out our ideas about what we want to write? Um, brainstorming is a good one. Regan, do you have any techniques that you can think of? Um, we did the quick write. The quick write. So you can kind of incorporate a few of them together. So the quick write is a good way to get thoughts down on paper about like a specific topic that you want to write about just to get details down that come to your mind right away and help you brainstorm and think of things that you would want to write about for our narrative piece. So then, since we said planning and pre-writing is our first step, what is our second step then of the writing process? Can one of you guys tell me? Ms. Han. Um, when we were actually like drafting, like writing our rough draft. Very good, so composing and drafting. So. That step is when we write our rough draft of our paper, which you guys should have an intro paragraph, uh, your body paragraphs, and then a conclusion paragraph. And remember, our paper is only two pages long, so most of you guys should, pro you guys should probably have roughly two to four body paragraphs. And since we have our rough drafts done, and you guys have worked on the drafting and composing, we're gonna work on our third and final step of the writing process, which is revising. So, can one of you tell me what you think revising means to do? Yes, Reagan. Is it like fixing your paper? It is. So, it's going back through and you're going it's there's multiple things you can do to revise your papers and it is to make improvements or you can go back and check on things that maybe you made mistakes on such as grammar or punctuation or even if you're too repetitive so some things, some techniques that we can use to revise our essays for our case today with our narratives, we are going to work on peer revising. So you guys will switch papers with each other. And we're going to do a PQP, which is praise, question, and polish. The first P, praise, is where you pick out one piece or more than one piece of somebody else's writing that you think that they did really well on. And you want to basically explain and give examples, you can give examples exactly where in the paper that they did well on. And for our question, you guys would want to bring up questions that you have. So it could be if maybe there's not a, a character in the story, or somebody's only brought up once in the story, you could have a question and say, well, in, for your narratives, they are about your favorite place or favorite vacation that you guys went on. So you guys have a question about if they went somewhere and who went with them, if it was a family vacation or if they went with their friends or whatever it might be. And then polish, it kind of relates to question a little bit, it's just more specific. So it could be about fix, going back and polishing in their paper and fixing things like grammar and punctuation or if they need better transitions from paragraph to paragraph, or even the sequencing of their sentences in their paragraphs to make them make sense more. So, with this said, we're gonna go through and do a quick example together, and then you guys are gonna get time to work on your own, okay? Okay. So, go ahead and follow along with me as I read this aloud, okay? There are a lot of incredible places all around the world that I have been to already in my short life. The peaks of mountains, sandy shores and beaches beside the ocean, the snowy tundras of northern North America, all places I've been able to experience. Snowboarding, surfing, hiking, camping, scuba diving, hunting, fishing. Numerous activities I've experienced in the many places I've traveled to. Of all the places I've been to, with all the things I've had the privilege of doing, my favorite place to go to or spend vacation at is in the beautiful environment of the Alaskan wilderness. One reason Alaska is my favorite place to travel to or vacation at is because it's incredibly beautiful to camp and hike. 
Much of the state is pure wilderness with vast mountains and pines at the end of every horizon and crystal clear streams running in the valleys between, the ideal view to see while camping and hiking. Besides the physical features you can view and trek through, one can also experience the wide variety of wildlife too. On my last trip to Alaska, my family and I hiked near a giant glacier in Juneau, Alaska, and were able to see wild moose, elk, and even grizzly bears on just a single hike. It was quite the experience to see these types of sceneries and forms of wildlife while camping and hiking that I would otherwise not be able to see in other parts of the world. Another reason Alaska is my favorite place to travel to is because it's an incredible place to, to go fishing compared to where I live in the St. Louis area. On my last trip to Alaska, I was able to go fly fishing in the Russian River for rainbow trout and also red salmon, which are not two types of fish that are native to lakes or rivers anywhere near St. Louis. What was also unique about, about that fishing experience is that there are not many bodies of water that allow for fly fishing where you stand in the water and hip waders, throwing the fishing line out. Another aspect of the fishing that makes Alaska my favorite place to go is deep sea fishing. In Alaska, the ocean waters tend to be quite cold and different than many other deep sea fishing ventures I've been on. And the fish that can be caught are different also. One can catch halibut, silver salmon, and many others. One of, the, one of the other most important aspects about Alaska that makes it one of my favorite places to go is the unique hunting opportunities, which I'm very fond of. There are many different kinds of animals that one can hunt in Alaska that cannot be found in many other parts of the United States or even North America. A person can hunt for moose, elk, or caribou, for black bears or grizzly bears, or even for wild bison or mountain goats. I've only ever been elk and moose hunting, but all the different wildlife choices one can choose from to hunt make it very different compared to the hunting in Illinois and Missouri, where it's often turkey and white-tailed deer that are hunted, especially by me. There are a great deal of reasons Alaska is my favorite place to go to or vacation at. For me, they include the unique sceneries, types of fishing, and hunting opportunities, among many others, among many others also. It makes it a great place to go, and it's different than anywhere else in the world. If one got the chance to travel to Alaska, I believe that they would not regret it in the slightest. So, class, now we're going to go ahead and based off of that paper, we're going to do a quick example of a PP, of a PQP together. So for praise, what are some things, or what's one thing, that you think that they did very well? Yes, Lindsay. The details. What do you mean? So we could say that they were very descriptive in painting a picture in the reader's mind? Yeah. Okay. You could say the author was very descriptive in painting a picture in the reader's mind. And then, like when you said the hip waders, you can go ahead and just give an example like that, okay? Which is where we would put our example here. So since we covered that, what do you guys think is a question we could bring up that we have based on this example paper? Yes, Reagan. Can we go back and look at the paper? Of course we can. Different for different parts of the year? Yeah. We can definitely do that. So, a question we could raise is how many times they went to Alaska? Or who they went to Alaska with? And then examples, you could point out exactly where in the paper that they could add that maybe. So very good. And what about our last P, which is prompt? So it could be things, remember it could be things such as if maybe transitions didn't go well or they need to have a more expansive word choice and to, instead of maybe saying the same things over and over again. So what do you guys think? Do you want me to go back to the paper? Yeah. yeah. Right 
right here. Yeah. Maybe like how an author says one reason Alaska is my personal favorite, and then down there they say another reason Alaska is my favorite. Okay. So work on maybe tran the transitions. Okay. Yeah, like your so word choice. Word choice in your transition. Yeah. Okay. I like that you guys picked that out. It's a very good good thing to pick out for the prompting. So to change the word choice um, to make their transitions different but still flow. Yeah. But still flow within the paper. Very good. And so then that's where you would put, that's where we would go back in the paper and you guys could put the example, you guys could put the examples like this and maybe offer a suggestion about how they could change it. So that's where we would put that, okay? Now I want you guys to go ahead and you guys will switch papers, so just share it with the other person's email. You guys should already have that. And I want you guys to read each other's papers first before we do our PQP. And then you guys will have some time to work on this. And then we'll have some time tomorrow to also work on it, OK? I'm going to come by and check on it in just a second. Do you guys want me to leave the PQP example on the board for you? Yeah. Okay. If you have any questions, raise your hand, okay? How are you guys doing on your on the reading? Are you guys starting on your PQPs now? Yeah. You guys are doing a very good job of being on task. Keep up the good work. Yeah, because we're good students. Okay guys, I want you guys, we are running out of time today, so I want you guys to save what you have, and we will have more time to finish it tomorrow, okay? So don't share it with whoever, whoever's paper you're reading and doing your PQP on. Just save it and we'll finish it tomorrow, okay? Okay. So then you guys can go ahead and log off of your computers and shut them down. And we'll get ready to start our next subject.